Just kidding. Flash Player, a glorious bit of software which over the years has been used for the majority of interactive media online. Whether it be Flash games, Flash advertising, animation, training software, and just anything that comes in between. There's no doubt if you've spent the majority of your life on the internet like I have, come across Flash. Flash has opened so many doors for so many people. With many Flash games going on to become full standalone games, it truly was the best place for people to start developing, creating, and animating. So where did Flash come from? In the mid 80s, software developer Jonathan Gay decided to spend his time during high school doing some experiments and coding on his Apple II computer. Gay had used Pascal to program his pieces of software, and soon after he teamed up with Charlie Jackson, who he met at a local Macintosh users group and was quickly employed at Jackson's company, Silicon Beach Software. Gay would go on to create the Macintosh game, Airborne. Gay's eventual goal was to make animation software compatible with both Macintosh and Windows systems. Gay created Smart Sketch, which allowed users to draw on the screen with a pen. By the mid-90s, Gay had created his own software company, Future Wave Software. As the internet grew popular, Smart Sketch was evolved into Future Splash Animator with the addition of 2D animation features, and was suddenly being used by Microsoft themselves for their very own MSN website. And after this honourable use of the software, Macromedia Incorporated would find themselves investing and buying the rights to Future Splash Animator, and in turn, during the year of 1996, Macromedia Flash was born. And after nine years of successful ventures, it was bought out by Adobe to become Adobe Flash Player. Adobe Flash Player was a hit, and it still is after all these years, but with every software, there comes a time and place where it must move over for other modern methods. And this time was, slash is, the 31st of December, 2020. Adobe announced Flash's departure in 2017 and gave us all a three year time space to make sure we were all ready to move on. So what happens to Flash games and Flash software that can't move on? What happens to games that are years old, built in Flash, and have no intention of being revived? Do they just get left in the forgotten internet realm? Adobe is stopping support for all mainstream browsers, and you'll probably have to look for a workaround after then, because users will not be able to re-enable it themselves, as it will be considered a security risk. The Internet Archive, which is a huge preservation project, recently announced that they were actually going to emulate Flash games on their website, which is huge for preservation. And even then, Internet Archive aren't the only ones to do this. There is a Flash game preservation project going on, called the Flash Game Archive, and if you are interested, it's essentially a downloadable game emulator for Flash games. At the time of this video, there are 1500 plus titles for you to enjoy for this project, so check it out. But yes, this is yet another piece of internet history that has run its course, and we will miss you a lot, Flash Player. You were our best friend of the early internet.